Well, as David mentioned, I've been doing um, all sorts of security stuff over the past 25, 30 years at Cambridge. Um, on, you know, until about 2000, we were focusing largely on technical stuff, on hardware security, on um, encryption and things like that. Um, over the past 15 years, we've done more of the soft side of things too, um, looking at economics, looking at psychology, looking at what actually happens in cybercrime. Although we still do core technical research, now that there's so many bad things happening online, you have to understand what actually goes wrong rather than what could go wrong in, uh, in, in theory. And those of you who are from a security background probably um, know of my textbook on security engineering. Those from other fields may find it useful as you work your way into this space. It's available completely free online, by the way, so this isn't a commercial. So what I was asked to speak about today was safety and security and sustainability. How does the world change when we start putting lots of computers and lots of software into things like cars and medical devices? Now, the impetus for this research came from the European Commission because the guys in Brussels regulate safety in all sorts of devices, um, cars, railway signals, aircraft, um, even children's toys. And what happens once you get software everywhere and once it starts getting upgraded every month? And so they asked two colleagues um, and me to examine what this means for the business of regulation. And one thing that's becoming very, very clear is that once you've got software everywhere, safety and security become entangled. And in fact, when you look around, you find that the two are the same word in the languages spoken by most EU citizens. Seguranza here, sicurezza in Italy, or surte, or sicherheit, or trichet um, in Denmark, where I gave a talk on this a couple of weeks ago. It's English is the odd, pers the odd language out. Um, English is the language that makes a distinction between safety and security. So anyway, how are we going to have to reg update the regulation of seguranza in order to cope with having software everywhere? Well, as a w means of background for this, markets do safety in some industries better than others. Uh, markets do safety fairly well in um, aircraft because when an aircraft crashes its front page news, the shares in the airline go down, um, the shares of the aircraft manufacturer may go down, um, and um, the pilots usually get killed, and you know, um, pilots don't like that, so they're very, very anxious about aircraft security and so are airlines, and the incentives add up. With medicine, it's a bit less obvious, uh, because if you die as a result of a software or design error in a, a, 